Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Ashish Devi, friends, and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video, friends, I will be discussing nitrogen fixation with you. This is the second video, friends. Previous to this, I have already told you the basics of nitrogen cycle, and I told you that I will be completing this nitrogen cycle in basically three videos. So first video already uploaded. This is the second one in which I am going to talk about nitrogen fixation, nitrogen uptake, and nitrogen mineralization. This nitrogen mineralization is quite similar to ammonification, which will which I will also discuss in the third video, in which I will talk to you about nitrification and denitrification, and ammonification. This video's main topic is nitrogen fixation. So all the details with respect to nitrogen fixation will be discussed by me in this video, friends. So kindly tune into it. This is presented by me, Harshit Devedi, friends. If you want to follow me. The link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. Also, this video is in English, friends. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link of that is also given below. Okay, here is nitrogen uptake, nitrogen mineralization. This I will be discussing in the end. First, I am going to talk to you regarding nitrogen fixation. What basically is nitrogen fixation, friends? We know that atmospheric nitrogen is N2, which is something like this triple bond, and it is a very strong bond. What happens in nitrogen fixation, friends? That this strong bond is ruptured, and this free nitrogen gets associated with hydrogen to form NH4 plus ion, which is also known as ammonium ion. This is what is happening is this nitrogen fixation, friends, and one very basic equation is being deployed for it. The equation is something like this: N two that is atmospheric nitrogen plus eight hydrogen ions that are positive, eight electrons, along with the formation of two NH three. NH three is ammonia plus hydrogen. Gas is the byproduct. So this is the equation that is being deployed, and when this NH three ion This NH three ion is combined with one H plus ion. It leads to the formation of NH four plus ion, which is finally ammonium. Then, what will happen in the later stages? In the later stages, this NH four plus ion will get converted into nitrite, that is NO two minus ion, which will further get converted into NO three minus, which is nitrate. Basically, this is nitrate. This is nitrite okay and this is ammonium which i have already told you so this process of ammonium getting converted into nitrite and then nitrate is nitrification process which will be discussed in the subsequent video here what we are doing we are breaking the n2 triple bond and combining it with hydrogen to form the ammonium this is known as you can say nitrogen fixation friends okay now who is performing this nitrogen fixation who all are capable of doing this nitrogen fixation so basically three processes are there who can do this nitrogen fixation the number one will be microbes friends microbes in the next slide i will tell you whole detail about it then the very next thing which is in front of us industrial processes in the industrial processes for example you know when fertilizers are being made so in that the atmospheric nitrogen is obviously converted into you know in order to incorporate that nitrogen inside urea so basically industrial processes also this nitrogen is formed and there are many more industrial processes for example such artificial way you know the already present nitrogen is emitted in the air what is happening friends for example if we talk about power plants now you can see in power plants a lot of greenhouse gases are emitted nitrogen dioxide is emitted nitrogen oxide is emitted no2 no and no2o okay then when vehicular emissions are there for example you are driving a car okay diesel car or petrol car or you are driving a motorcycle so in that case emissions is there in that emissions nitrogenous products are there okay so in these in industrial productions also in in the industrial emissions also non nitrogen is there friends and that nitrogen which is present in the form of no2 no will come down with through the precipitation when rainfall would be there so that i will be talking about in future friends so this is the second way the third way is that when thunder or lightning is happening now when this thunder and lightning is happening friends what is happening in this thunder and lightning thunder and lightning produces a whole lot of energy friends and that energy is so high that it is capable of converting that atmospheric nitrogen okay into an 
active form that is it is capable of converting the atmospheric nitrogen from an inactive form to an active form this thunder and lightning okay this is that much amount of energy so basically these are the three processes through which atmospheric nitrogen is converted into usable nitrogen now the very most important thing is the microbes one we are going to talk about it how this nitrogen fixation is being happening through this you can say microbes okay so in microbes friends when i'm talking about three types are known free living bacteria this is free living second is symbiotic third is cyano bacteria sorry okay cyano bacteria includes blue green algae not all cyanobacteria, but this blue green algae. This is very active. You can say this cyanobacteria thing. It is very active in nitrogen fixation in marine ecosystems, especially ocean ecosystems. Some example of it is Nostoc, N O S T O C. Then Anabana, A N A B A E N A. Then Spirulina. So this is very active. Then if we talk about symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria and free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. So what's the difference between symbiotic and free living friends? Free living is that this bacteria independently is capable of producing nitrogen. Symbiotic means that symbiotic in association with its plant, that plant can be leguminous, it can be non-leguminous root nodules. So in that case, symbiotic can fix nitrogen only in association with its partner. Whereas a free living bacteria can do this on an independent basis so i'm going to tell you both the types symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria is simple it is rhizobium and when we talk about free living nitrogen fixing bacteria so here comes four types i'm going to talk about azotobacter okay then clostridium then Rodho, Spirillium, then next is BJ Mikia. So these are basically some examples of the free living bacteria who are capable of doing this nitrogen fixation. In the case of symbiotic, I also told you, in the case of cyanobacteria, I've also told you. So basically, these are the types there are some examples you know there need to be some names in your mind which you can readily quote when you are writing an answer or when you are giving an oral explanation or anything like that and these type of questions can also be there you know this type of options these type of the names of these you can say microbes can be there in options of the questions when you are solving it in real exams so that is also very important there is one more process through which this nitrogen is moving into soils that when you know when nitrogen emissions are there so a lot of n2o no no2 is available in the air now when precipitation comes friends when the rain is falling so this rain is going to take away this pollution into the soil this soil or surface water so this is one more way through which this nitrogen is coming into soils okay so when precipitation occurs this precipitation washes away the nitrogen pollution which is present in the air it goes to the surface water or you can say in soils okay so here you got to know friends i've told you the free living bacteria i told you the thunder lightning method i told you the industrial process of mating fertilizers i've told you this precipitation so this is how this inactive basically this nitrogen fixation is the most important thing that inactive atmospheric nitrogen that is 78 percent of our net atmosphere is coming into an active form that can be deployed friends so what is happening that n2 bond is breaking one nitrogen at atom is becoming free it is combining with hydrogen and forming an ammonium ion nh4 plus you must have heard about the plants for example you must have heard about beans you must have heard about alfalfa okay so basically these are those plants friends you know whenever it is said that one soil is deficient in say nitrogen so basically these type of plants are plant planted so that nitrogen depletion can be removed and nitrogen can be recycled in that soil and basically these nitrogen fixing bacteria have an enzyme in them which is known as nitrogenase this nitrogenase is very effective in nitrogen fixation because of this enzyme these are capable of doing such activities right so basically this is nitrogen 
fixation fence. Now, after this nitrogen fixation, we will move on to two more important things, which I told you in the starting friends, that is nitrogen uptake. Now, in this nitrogen uptake, we have reached from N2 to, sorry, we reach from N2 to NH4. Plus. Now, this NH4 will be converted into organic nitrogen. What is happening in nitrogen uptake, friends? This ammonium ion, which is produced by nitrogen fixing bacteria, this will be taken in by a host plant, bacteria itself, or another soil organism. It will be incorporated in the proteins of the plants. Those plants will be eaten by other animals. So, basically, these nitrogen atoms will get on assimilating, forming nucleic acids, you can say, sorry, amino acids, proteins, chlorophyll, vitamins. So, because nitrogen is an essential element in all of these, they are also useful for the formation of DNA. Okay, friends, and when humans or you can say carnivorous animals, which are comparatively higher in the food chain, when they eat nitrogen, when they intake nitrogen, this nitrogen is that nitrogen which has been fixed by the bacteria, nitrogen fixing bacteria. For example, if we are directly eating plants, suppose we are eating spinach. So, when you will be eating spinach, we will be take, directly taking nitrogen from the plants or whether we are eating chicken. So, that chicken also has nitrogen which has been fixed by nitrogen fixing bacteria. So, ultimately, when we are consuming nitrogen, when we are consuming our food or any other higher level, higher trophic level animal is consuming food, it is actually consuming that nitrogen which has been already fixed by the nitrogen fixing bacteria. So, here in nitrogen uptake, this is sort of assimilation friends that I have already explained you in the basic video. So, this nitrogen is assimilating inside an organism. So, basically it is being intake by an organism and this NH4 plus ion is converting itself into organic nitrogen. What's happening in the next step? It is nitrogen mineralization in which organic nitrogen is converted into ammonium ion. Now, what is happening here? Nitrogen mineralization is happening. What is happening friends? When the plants and animals are having nitrogen in them, when those plants and animals will die, so, when those plants and animals will die, they will be decomposed and the decomposition agents here are bacteria and fungi. So, these bacteria and fungi will decompose these dead organisms. Okay. And then these dead organisms may finally lead to the formation of ammonium. So, that ammonium which was when consumed converted itself into an organic nitrogen. This organic nitrogen will again come to the form of NH4+. This is known as nitrogen mineralization. It is very similar to ammonification. Okay friends. So, basically here that ammonium ion which has already converted itself into organic nitrogen that is again getting converted into NH4 plus and this NH4 plus can also be converted to nitrate nitrate ion that is NO3 minus ion through the process of nitrification so this is nitrogen mineralization nitrogen uptake i've already told you and i in detail explained you the process of nitrogen fixation so i hope this video was helpful for you friends if you really like this video kindly subscribe to my channel like this video friends kindly you can ask me through your comments your doubts you can also associate with me on instagram you can also you know friends please share my video on your facebook and instagram profile friends because that will help me get a lot of viewers and that is fun help that you can do me friends so thank you for watching have a great day keep studying